Okay, guys, when you pick your ginger, you want to make sure that you pick your ginger that when it's, it's nice and smooth and it doesn't have too many of the, uh, like the little shoots growing out, when your little finger is growing out. You want to make sure that it's nice and smooth and it's not too rugged so it's easier just to peel back. You can, the skin is so thin, you can do it with your fingernail. I mean, it's so thin. We'll just use a spoon and peel it all back. All right, guys, and we'll just start peeling the ginger. We'll just use a spoon. You can either peel it back like this if you'd like, or you can just peel it back this way. Okay, you guys, we are done peeling off the skin off of the ginger. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut this up, and we're gonna cook this in one pot. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and rinse this off. Okay, you guys, so we're going to start cutting the ginger, um, but we want to cut the ginger. When we cut the ginger, we want to cut just into, so I'm just going to cut it into circles, because as you can see with the lemon ones right here, you can see they cut, they shrink down pretty small. So even with this just being a small piece like this here, I'm still just going to give it a... Even this size right here is fine, like that, because it's gonna it is gonna shrink down. These are gonna even become even smaller. So we'll just go ahead and cut this ginger. We will start cooking these, and we're gonna split these in half. We're gonna do regular, uh, some regular um, chews, and then we'll do some orange chews, and then we got the lemon back here. Okay, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and take the ginger, and we're just gonna put it into our pan here. So let's get the water over the ginger. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to um, go ahead and we're gonna boil the water. We're just gonna bring it to a boil. Once it boils, we're gonna pour it off and then put some more fresh water on. And we're gonna do that one more time. So we're gonna do it three different times. We're gonna, you know ginger has a, a pretty good bite on it. And we just wanna take the edge off of it for our candies, all right? Okay, you guys, so I got the batch split. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cover the tops with the water that we had for the uh, regular and the orange. And I'm just going to cover just enough to cover the um, ginger. Same thing with here. And I'm going to take one cup of sugar, which I'm using pure cane sugar. I'm going to take one cup and put one cup in each batch. And then I'm going to save a half a cup for each batch later when I'm going to add that later towards the end after we're done boiling this so we can start it to caramelize. And put a, now we're going to go ahead and put these in the oven. And we'll save this for the tea for later. And then we have our lemons right here. So we'll have orange batch, regular batch. All right, and we're just using just the cane sugar. All right, and we'll have a, a half a cup of sugar and another half a cup of sugar when we go to caramelize. All right, so let's put this on the uh, oven and get it, or get it on the stove and start cooking, start boiling these. Also, guys, I wanted to tell you also, you can pressure cook these which will make it a lot faster. Do a pressure cook for like 10 minutes. We're gonna boil these for like at least uh, 30 to 45 minutes, both of these here. And then we'll go ahead and caramelize after that. All right, you guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have these come to a boil. Once these come to a boil, we're gonna shut it down and we're just gonna let it simmer. And we're gonna let it simmer for about 45 minutes. All right, you guys, so both of these are boiling now, so we're just going to simply turn down the heat on them. Have, like, just a simmer going, but we don't want it to boil over either. And let's go ahead and put a pinch of salt in, just so it just helps for it for not boiling over. And see how it's just kind of just a roll, a, a rolling simmer? We want it to be like that, but we want to go down just a little bit more so that we don't have boil over once we put the lids on. Set the timer for about 45 minutes. We want it to be, and it's at a simmer. What I'm gonna do now is this is when I'm gonna put the extract in. And I'm gonna only use the orange because I already did the lemon. 
um, and this one's going to be the regular. So the big pot is the orange. So I'm going to put one, two drops in. All right, you guys, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this uh, half cup of sugar and we're going to start to caramelize these after 45 minutes. All right, you guys, yeah, it's caramelizing up real nice now. It's getting really thick. All right, guys, this looks like it's caramelizing pretty good now. You guys, that looks really good. That's perfect. Really nicely caramelized. Really nice. That's really nice. It's nicely caramelized. It's uh, just perfectly thick, how you want it to be. And we're gonna go ahead and put this in a bowl now. All right, you guys, so here's our orange. And it looks really good. It's perfectly caramelized. We're going to go ahead and put this in here. You want it to have some liquid like that. We want to have liquid to keep it a little liquidy. We don't want it to be too thick. All right. That's our orange. And now let's get our regular. Okay, you guys, for the sake of the video, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, put these out onto the dry screens. And they're ready to go. This one's our orange, and this one is our regular. And usually you just let them sit overnight, just cover them up like they are right, like this, and then let them sit overnight. And what you do is just go ahead and put this onto the stove and warm it up again, and then you can do whatever you need to do. Um, but you do want to let them set one night, and then let them basically like kind of cure, and then go ahead and warm them up again, and then you can sugar them. All right, you guys, so we'll just go ahead and we'll start putting this on. Okay, you guys, and you might have to warm up your uh, chews if you need to, but these are still warm enough, and I'm just going to put them on here. Then I'm going to sprinkle my um, cane sugar on there. So we'll have the orange ones with the cane sugar, the lemon with the uh, powdered sugar, and then just the regular. We're just going to keep regular. Nothing on it. All right, so let's go ahead and start putting these on. All right, you guys, so let's just go ahead and sugar these um, orange ginger chews. And I'm just going to use some um, pure cane sugar. All right, you guys, I'm just going to sugar these up with some cane sugar, these orange ones. The lemon ones have uh, powdered sugar on it, and we're just going to keep the regular regular. All right, you guys, I think that should do it for that. And then we're just going to let these harden up and put them into a bowl so people can enjoy them. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and scrape the, whoops, the rest of the oranges into the bowl. Okay. Scrape the. These are the lemon. One would be nice and dry like that, though. The orange are still a little wet underneath because we just, I didn't let them set overnight like I did with these ones. Good idea is just to let it sit overnight, rewarm it up, rewarm it up. This is what I did with these ones last night. Let it sit overnight, rewarm it up, and then go ahead and put them on your on your screens to let them dry, and then powder them or sugar them, however you want to do them. Do the regular ones, which are really dry. Those dried really quick. Take them right off. That's the regular ones. All right, guys, subscribe, like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Well, that left me with six cups of tea right there. That's a lot of water there.